some were really bad. With my fingers, with my sponge, with the brush, with different skincare. What the heck? It was so ugly. God, it was so bad. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today I am bringing you a skin tint breakdown. These are the five skin tints that I recently tried and some were really bad and I haven't had an opportunity to talk about why. And then the other ones I returned and then we had some that we absolutely loved and I thought it would be fun to catch up on products that I've been testing out lately and let you know why I returned some things and why I kept the others. So let's first start. And by the way, when I talk about these skin tints, I will have have the full review, wear tests, swatches, how I apply on my face and all of that. I will have those reviews in the info below. I put every single of one of these through a wear test, sweat test, up close shots, and natural light shots into the night shots. So we put them through the ringer because they are high end products at a higher price point and they should perform at these price points. The very first one I wanna talk about is the Kyrewise The Beautiful Tint. I don't know, some of you said that this worked for you. I have tried this several different ways, several different ways, with my fingers, with my sponge, with a brush, with different skincare. It looks like crap on me every single time. And then when I was looking at the website and I was like creating a thumbnail, okay? I saw, I will put these pictures up. Okay, I'll put these pictures up. The models that they have, the before and after, had the same problem I had when applying this. It, very patchy, can you guys see these? Very patchy, very, very patchy. What the heck, they're in their own branding after photos. I don't understand what I'm missing here. Now, some of you said you got it to work for you, but if their models look like this, does your skin look like this? Am I going crazy? Is this acceptable? Apparently it's acceptable to sell and put on your website and put on before and afters, but a lot of you said that you liked it. Some of you said that you had the same problem, but there wasn't like an overwhelming response of like, oh, it worked for me. I'm sorry it didn't work for you. What? If it didn't even work for the before and afters, what are we doing? wrong? What is the brand itself doing wrong to get after photos like this? Like seriously, I, it's a mystery to me. I'm so confused and I need someone to explain it. I absolutely did not like this. I got sent this by the way, NPR, and I picked out the shade. I did not purchase it in the shade M1. This is supposed to be really great for sensitive skin, long wearing. And I said this in my full review that I loved the way it felt like it set on my skin really quickly. And it felt like it created a web of coverage that I felt like would last through the day. It was so ugly. I'm sorry, Kyra Wise. I like a lot of your products, but this just, it doesn't make sense because apparently it's not just me. It's also the brand, these after photos. You cannot, they're there. They're there on Nordstrom and Kyra Wise's own website. You guys are gonna have to let me know what is up with this skin tint and how you got it to work and how you got it to look decent on your skin. If I could return this, I would. Now. The next skin tint is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I did a full review on this as well. I ended up thinking it looked beautiful on my skin, which it did, but the more I wore it, the more I was unhappy with the result around my nose and my pores, and the dropper application was really kind of obnoxious to me. It was very annoying. I want something like this, whether you know it's a, it's a product I can squeeze up and, and pump out, or it's a dropper, you know, like a, just a squeeze tube. I really appreciate packaging like that when it comes to coverage products like skin tints and tinted moisturizers. I just did not like the, the dropper of it all. So I ended up returning it, but I know a lot of you love it as well. I loved it at first, but it like the, the more it wore, I was like, oh, I have other skin tints that I enjoy better than this one. And the packaging is really obnoxious. Let me know what type of packaging do you appreciate on coverage products? Do you like pumps? Do you like squeeze tubes? Do you like droppers? I just feel like, I, and I know personally, maybe I'm just clumsy but when it comes to skincare with droppers or a self tanner the drops I end up dropping that little the little beaker tube thing and it, and it breaks and then then there you are so I really don't like that type of packaging let me know what your favorite packaging is on coverage products I just had to return it from just mild annoyances like that this next skin tint God, it was so bad. The Too Faced Healthy Glow Born This Way Skin Tint. I tried this twice, y'all. I did a full review on it. I purchased it, did a full review. It was supposed to give you a healthy glow. It instantly mattified my skin. It instantly enhanced my pores. It instantly enhanced my dryness. And I thought, it must be me. This is marketed to dry skin. This is supposed to give you a healthy glow. What's going on? As time went on, I just couldn't get it to work for me. And it really irritated my skin 
And then a lot of you were like, I have oily skin, it works for me. And I was like, yes, this is definitely more of an oily skin product than it is a dry skin product because for one thing, it mattifies. It's not a glow at all. It's not glowy at all. So you guys will have to let me know if you tried the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow skin tint. I had to return it and then they sent it to me in PR. And as I had it in my hand, I thought, first of all, this is way late for any launch to be promoted or tried, but whatever, we already did it. And then I'll, I'll link both of these reviews below. And I thought, let's try it again. Let's give her a go again against the Dior Backstage no foundation, backstage foundation. Yeah, the backstage, I'm thinking the powder. I love the powder. But the backstage face and body foundation because they had the same packaging. I felt like after testing out the Dior fa backstage face and body foundation that it had a very similar feel to the Too Faced. And I thought, huh, they're very close in price. Like it's like a dollar off. And Dior did raise the price of the backstage face and body foundation, by the way, because by the time I got my review up, it was $44 when it was 40. And the Too Faced Healthy Glow, is 43 so it's a dollar difference they seem very similar so I gave it a go I did a foundation face-off I love doing foundation face-offs let me know if you would like to see uh, any two foundations face off they could be similar or totally different to see you know how they wear throughout the day I'll link that playlist below if you're curious to see what the heck a foundation face-off is I apply one foundation to one side of my face one foundation to the other side of my face and I go through the entire day up close shots wear test natural light shots and we see which one is the better performer. So let me know what foundations would you like to face off? But anyway, so I did a foundation face off with the Too Faced Healthy Glow Born This Way skin tint and the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And they were fairly similar, honestly. I'll link that below if you're curious to see that. But let's move on to two skin tints that I absolutely loved uh, recently after reviewing them. The first one is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I have the shade Light Medium. It's a little too dark for me right now. I'm not self-tanned at all right now, so I'm an NC 15. I would say I would have to be an NC 20 to wear this shade. I ended up, and it took me forever to try this, and I have a full review. I'll link it below. I also love the concealer that goes along with this. This is insanely good. The packaging, there's a lot left to be desired. This is a little bit of annoy an annoyance. It's a roll-on type of deal, which I get it when, you know, Xana de Rossi, she, you know, puts it on in the car and she's always like on a flight doing those things and whatever. And, you know, it's, it's about ease of use. So I understand that, but I do, because I love the formula so much, I wish it was in like a squeeze tube with a pump or something like that. Again, do you like packaging like this? What is your preferred packaging when it comes to coverage products and why? I always wonder why they create certain types of packaging for cover coverage products like the, the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Why did you put a dropper? No one wants to travel with that. I mean, it was a, a decent formulation, but it was just, who wants to travel with that? This I get, this I get, but it's like, who's making these decisions? Anyway, I love it. I think it's beautiful on my dry, sensitive, breakout prone skin. Uh, it just makes your face just look super duper healthy and I absolutely love it. The packaging is not my favorite, but I can get over it because I understand the use of it, but it can build up bacteria in a roller ball over time. You know, if you're rolling it on your skin, you have bacteria on your skin, getting down into this little mechanism. Not a big fan of that, but hey, you know what I mean? We all have makeup brushes we haven't <laughs> washed in a while and use on our face. It's just the, the name of the game, but I do wish it was in a squeeze tube. All right, I have to say, I mean, I love the Milk Makeup Sunshine skin tint, and this does have an SPF 30. This next skin tint does not have an SPF in it. So if you are allergic to SPF or it breaks you out and you don't like it in your coverage products, and you have dry skin, we're all the Danessa Myrex Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I have featured this in so many videos recently because it's so freaking good. I don't like the packaging. I don't like all the different fonts and the and the like the little flare thing. It's just not my style. But hey, girl, I I can get over it because it is my favorite type of packaging when you take the top off. It's a little squeeze tube. This will give you the smoothest looking pore somehow. It gives you a glow. 
It, 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 it blurs your pores. It doesn't enhance fine lines. And you look like you have had proper amount of water every single day of your life when you wear this. The coverage is incredible. It's a medium coverage. It can be built up to a fuller coverage or sheared out and worn as a light coverage product, but wow. And it's 1.58 fluid ounces. There is no SPF. Like I said, I am in the shade three and this is definitely the shade for me when I'm not self tanned. I'll link the full review below. I'm just like, this is it right now. You know what I mean? I don't know how someone else could knock it out of the park with this type of formulation when it comes to glow and dry skin friendly and it wears all day. Like long wear is not a claim of the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint, but boy is she long wearing. I love it. I think it's incredible and I'm so happy that I bought it to review. Sometimes, you, you know, brands just hit it out of the park and you're like, yeah, money well spent. I will be using this for a long time. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you've tried her other cover coverage products. I have not, but I've heard good things. And if this is that great, I can't imagine how good her foundation and concealer are. Okay, so I had to hop on here and add these two skin tints to the end of this video because I had not tried these yet when I first filmed this, but I have to add these because I just did two full reviews of these next skin tints. The first one I wanna discuss is the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. She is light coverage, true light coverage, glowy finish, makes the skin look super beautiful, lasts all day. I will link the full review below so you can see that, but I am in the shade two and totally blown away by this skin tint in particular. I was really looking forward to trying it when I heard that they were going to launch it and I'm glad it didn't disappoint. I usually really like Hourglass's coverage products and this is definitely not a miss from them. This is beautiful and I would love to know if you guys have tried it or if you have planned on trying it. I love the packaging. This skin tint, however, even though it may not seem like it by looking at it, you have to shake it up before you apply it. It is a squeeze tube. It's got a really nice square cap. Got a really nice square cap and it feels expensive. It doesn't break me out and it really makes my dry, breakout prone, sensitive skin, large pore skin look beautiful, like a really nice light glowy, veil of coverage. I think that if you wanted to try this and you had oilier skin, that this would work beautifully on oilier skin because it does have that long wear aspect to it and you could dust like a light translucent powder over it. It is a beautiful coverage product. Okay. The other skin tint I was really excited to try is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint SPF 15. This claims light coverage. However, it is definitely sheer coverage, not light. It says that it has a natural finish. In my opinion, it has a glowy finish. I will again, link the entire full review below. It does have some ingredients in it that cause breakouts, especially if you have acne prone skin. So keep that in mind. I really, really did not like this skin tint. I will be returning it. It smells like a citronella candle. It kind of makes me a little nauseous to be honest when I apply it and it did end up breaking me out a little, which is disappointing, but I did hear those claims and did read the ingredients and was like, yeah, there they are. I don't remember. Anyway, I would steer clear of this unless you have absolutely perfect skin anyway, and you are not sensitive or breakout prone because there's really little to no coverage there. And if you do have perfect skin, that's not sensitive. This would be a product that you could grab and go to the beach, to the lake, to the pool. You're really not going to get a full, like, you know, like, like a put together, a put together looking face with this. It's more of just kind of like, I don't know, cool that it has SPF in there, but the smell, the scent is just too strong for me. I'd love to know if you guys have tried this and what you think. I purchased the shade Fair 2 and it's definitely my shade if you're interested. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for you, but I definitely don't think this will work if you have oilier skin. So that's all I wanted to pop on here and say. Hourglass, love it, highly recommend. And the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. I just, oof, the smell is like, I don't wanna smell it. I was about to smell it. It makes me nauseous. <laughs> well, that is all for this skin tint roundup. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried them? Are you going to try them? 
what worked for you that maybe didn't work for me? I would love to know. And also give this video a like. Give this video a like. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and therefore you will see it more in your feed and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And we would all love to have you in this beautiful, positive, wonderful community. And thank you so much for watching. And this was a fun one. Golly, golly. I'm just still so blown away by that Kyra Wise mess, man. <sighs> Disappointing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. It, 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 it blew. All right.